My personal life mission is to love God, love people, and lead others to do the same. And I think Global Missions is one of the very best ways to do that. It's not just providing medical help, it's providing care. I don't care if they can't afford it. My compassion and my love and my care doesn't cost anything. The first time we started planning this trip was just over a year ago. We wanted to make sure that if we expanded a new global footprint for Advent Health, that we could find a location that we'd want to come back to year after year after year. This wouldn't be a one-time trip. We began talking with the leadership team of Kendu Adventist Hospital, and we were immediately struck with how engaged they are, which is at the top of our list for what we're looking for in a partner. And so we put a focus on having people with the right knowledge working hand in hand with the Kenyan people who couldn't afford healthcare, who didn't have access to funds. We wanted to make sure that the people here had a free medical camp that they could show up to. When we first arrived, the welcome was really amazing. You could just see the smiles on people's faces from the patients waiting down by the gate to the team members who were here to welcome us to the dance crew who was dancing. One of the things I was most worried about would be no one would show up. There wasn't a need in Kendu Bay for what we were coming here for. And the first morning, the trip started off with a bang with 500 people on the campus day one waiting for our care. What do you want to do in the future? I want to do engineer. That's right. You're going to be a plane engineer, right? Yes. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, meeting Brolin was one of the highlights of the week for me. Uh, this 10-year-old kid with a big smile and a big heart and a big laugh, big personality. When Junior reached three years, she started feeling pain. So that is how it has been until now. That's why she took the step to come to Kindu Adventist Hospital. If can release the pain, can be okay to just be healed. We're grateful for just his heart and his spirit and the love that his mom has. Uh, you've helped make him whole. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 The fact that God led his path into ours so that we could uh, provide surgical services for him is just something I'm so grateful for, his mother is grateful for. But his story is just really one small microcosm of the many, many stories we experienced this week. You know, the tablet, uh, twice a day for seven days. Why are you here today? So she's just cannot be here on the right year. So I think he's probably at least damaged his cornea. I'm going to use normal saline. We were overwhelmed by the need here. Each night, more and more people were lining up for the next day. By the last day, 200 people were sleeping overnight at the hospital because they wanted care so badly. Eunice was one of the bravest little girls that I have ever seen. This poor thing has been living with this big mass above her lip um, for quite some time now. For months, she's had a swelling here on the inside of her mouth. It's causing her a lot of pain. And uh, you can see here that it's made her face asymmetric. We weren't really sure what it was from, if it was related to like a trauma situation, if she maybe bumped it. Um, so Dr. Aragon brought her back there. We gave her some numbing medication. Um, and as we were doing that process, she was holding my hand and she did not flinch even the slightest bit. She was very strong, very brave. So it's smaller now, much better. It went down away. Okay. You did so good. You did really good. You did a great job. You have a strong son. Very sweet boy. This is exactly the outcome we wanted. I think I thank 
the joy that he had, the gratitude that he had, it exemplifies why we do what we do, caring for the whole person. That's really what it's all about. We were able to do it for Brolin, but we were able to do it for so many more. I love our mission of extending the healing ministry of Christ. And what we've experienced this week is the closest thing to the healing ministry of Jesus as I've ever experienced. This is why I wanted to be a provider, is to give to these people in ways that I am not able to give at home. I really do feel that I was given a gift. I can provide health care. That's something I'm passionate about and something I love and something I was fortunate enough to go to school for. And so that's my gift to be able to give back. Following Jesus means how do I share my resources with those who don't have enough? Giving to Global Missions is one of the very best ways to do that.